If you were ever a baptized one of Jehovah's Witnesses, you know that if you leave or if you're disfellowshipped or publicly reproved, that you're supposed to feel guilty, feel ashamed, and then you're supposed to go back and beg for forgiveness. Here's the thing. What if you did nothing wrong? What if they were in the wrong? They instill so much fear into people that if they speak up about what they saw, what they heard, or their experiences, you will be then called an apostate. That's why so few people will actually speak up. They're not allowed to follow me. They're not allowed to comment on my posts, but they do private message me. I have received hundreds, if not thousands of messages across Facebook, Instagram, here on TikTok. The story I'm about to share with you is not rare. It happens in every congregation worldwide, but they're just too afraid to speak up. So here we go. We're going to call uh, this woman Mary. You can insert any name you like. We'll call her husband Doug. So Mary and Doug were married at 19 years of age. They got married young so that they wouldn't commit any sins. The abuse started from day one. Lying, stealing, financial abuse, verbal and sexual abuse. Extremely controlling. Doug was an elder, which means a leader in the Jehovah's Witness congregation, which made Mary an elder's wife. Mary even caught her husband with another woman, which he told her was a shepherding call. He said he had to keep it confidential. Mary decided to go to the elder. She even had proof of the abuse. In Doug's handwriting, the elders told Mary that they don't deal with abuse. Mary told the elders that she wanted her husband Doug to get counseling or therapy. Not too long after, the elders gave a local needs part at the meeting saying that therapy and counseling is dangerous. They ended up moving to a different congregation. Mary went to these elders. Same answer, the elders said they don't deal with abuse. Instead of helping Mary, the elders ended up shunning her. Mary had spent 42 years as one of Jehovah's Witnesses. She said if you would have asked her before if Jehovah's Witnesses are abusive to women, she would have said no, but now she can see. She is shunned and her husband is welcome. Mary finally had the courage to leave Doug. Mary says if she tells anyone her story who is still one of Jehovah's Witnesses, she is told that she's against the organization. She says she was pushed out of the religion. Mary says she didn't decide to leave the religion on her own, it was decided for her. But now realizes she wants nothing to do with a group that treats people this way. Another family torn apart by the Jehovah's Witnesses.